Hi guys, it's Mark from Flow Themes. In the following video, I'm going to show you how to add a single blog post. Uh, to add a blog post is super simple. If you go to Posts and Add New, and here you'll have multiple options. So you'll always want to add a title. Um, then the next thing you should probably do is look for categories. Uh, if you have a category for the post, I'll choose a random category for now. Uh, if you want to tag your posts, uh, you can do that as well. You can add multiples by just adding a comma and press, press enter. And you will also have the option to add a sidebar, left sidebar, a right sidebar, left sidebar and you can select which sidebar you want to add there. So I'm gonna add a right sidebar for this one. Um, always trying to remember to set a, a featured blog post, uh, a featured image for the blog post, it, and try and use similar size images. It, it will make it much more um, consistent, um, unless you wanna use a masonry group view. And this will be the image that shows up in the uh, blog page. I'll show you quickly. Uh, as the featured image at the top of a, either at the top of a post or as the uh, option that is in a grid view, for example, here. So, moving on to add, uh, you can add all text here. So, uh, adding random text, uh, you can add text anywhere you like. Uh, you can add images, add media, and um, you can drag and drop them in from. Uh, from anywhere, or you can select images from uh, the current post. Uh, I would note to have a look at the settings on the right hand side. I would say that you should um, should use full size as the blog post will resize them, and I would say link to none. So, uh, WordPress does remember these settings. Do it once, and then and then you can do it from multiples. So you can insert that in the post which is great. Uh, there's another great feature that you might not know about. It's adding a gallery with WordPress shortcodes. So you can create a, a nice grid gallery. Um, it's also a great way of adding images even singularly into a post in one, one column um, as it makes it really easy to drag and drop images in the place as well as adding captions. So let me show you that quickly. Uh, if you go to add media, uh, create gallery, and then you can select multiple images uh, and then you can create a new gallery. Uh, you have the options to link to various areas as well as linking to uh, selecting the number of columns. So I'm gonna select one and uh, you can have, choose the size, that's fine. I'll choose full size. You can add, add a caption. Um, if there's no caption available, it's great for SEO. And then you can insert them in the gallery. So I'll just publish this page and show you both and we'll view the post. So here you can see the featured image. I didn't set one so it uh, chose the first from the, the blog post. This was just the images I added into the post, the right sidebar, and also this is the light box gallery that I created with the captions. So that's how you add a blog post. There's a couple of nice ways to add images and organize them. And uh, hopefully you can get blogging soon.